When Jeff decided to join the military, it was kind of a joint decision for both of us. Uh, he had been thinking about it uh, for a while, and he and I just agreed that it was probably the best thing for our family. We had a young daughter. Um, she was only a couple months old, our oldest was, and we thought that was just kind of the direction we should go. It's been uh, kind of a roller coaster, actually. I'm very proud of him. I'm proud of what he does. I think it's important, um, and I support you know the mission that, that the military has. But when it's your husband, it does get a little bit emotional and a little bit tough. It's never fun leaving your family, but it's one of those things that you kind of prepare for mentally. She got pregnant really early on, like right before I left. So I knew six month deployment, I, I knew I was going to be there. Unless, you know, some complications happen, of course, because you can never foresee that coming. But um, so I knew I was going to be home for the birth. So that was great. It's always difficult leaving, you know, especially your wife with two other kids why you're gonna go deploy and you know she's gonna be pregnant. And, you know, I mean, being pregnant is tough enough, but then solo with two kids in Alaska, it's a little difficult, but, you know, my wife, she's a, she's a trooper. My middle child was three at the time, and he, he handled it pretty well, although it was kind of hard to explain to him where daddy was and why daddy was along, or away so long. My oldest took it the hardest. She, she, really, she carried around a, a picture of him in a backpack all the time. And she'd say, I'm taking daddy to the park, or I'm taking daddy this place or that place. And she was very, it was very stressful for her. Uh, she actually developed seizures um, and had to be in the hospital and undergo a lot of testing when he was deployed. And so the stress of me being pregnant and then her um, developing all these seizures was just, it was overwhelming. And I think part of that might have just been because she was overwhelmed with not being around her, her dad. She ended up in the hospital one evening and um, the unit found out and they, they contacted him through the Red Cross. Um, and I know that he was very, very um, worried about her. Uh, we weren't able to talk at that time, so again, we had used the Red Cross to communicate to him and let him know what happened, which was a great uh, resource for us, but it was also, I would have liked to have been able to talk to him and explain it to him because he, he had to hear it from someone else um, rather than from me. You're always scared when something goes wrong with a family member and you're overseas, but I knew she was in good hands and my wife assured me that everything was okay and my coworkers did the same. Our car actually, the battery died, and so I'm out there, pregnant with a big pregnant belly, jumping my car in January in Alaska. Um, and I just remember thinking, okay, this is enough. I'm done here. You know, we had everything happen that with my daughter, and then here I am in negative 40 degree weather, trying to jump my own car, and it was just I, that was a moment where I thought, okay, I give up. I can't do this anymore. But you know, like I said, the unit really helps out. Uh, I, at that particular base, uh, my husband's unit was really supportive and helped us through a really difficult time. So it was great to have that resource, but definitely there were times where we thought, I thought to myself, I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh, I was just unbelievably happy to be home. I remember, I can distinctly remember landing in Virginia. And it's, it's weird, because you have that feeling, you know, you're gone for, you know, roughly six months and you're outside of the U.S. and then you finally land on U.S. soil and it's just like, it feels great to be back home in the States. It's a really good feeling. And then uh, at the airport, and it, we landed I think at one o'clock in the morning, there were still about 200 volunteers out there like cheering everybody on and thanking them for their service and welcoming everybody home. And that that's one of those things that like really touches you because it's like these people are taking time out of their lives at one or two o'clock in the morning to come thank people that were deployed. It was, it was moving. It was a really moving experience. And Communication as to whether he was gonna, ex they, they had to extend him or not. And so I didn't wanna believe anything until I heard that he was actually on United States territory and, and you know, in the United States. But, um, you know, there was some, some delays and everything. But once he finally came off the plane, it was just, it was amazing. The kids were so excited. Even my three-year-old who didn't quite understand what was going on, was excited to see daddy. My, my oldest, who had been having the trouble with the seizures, she just, her face lit up and she was so excited. And of course, I was overcome with emotions too because I, you know, my husband was back. So it was a great moment seeing my husband you know, and seeing the kids and how excited they were too.